Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to give you an overview of using advanced custom fields, repeater fields, with Breakdance. You're going to learn how to use them with Breakdance. You're also going to learn what an advanced custom field repeater field is, and what you can do with it. Okay, let's take a look. This tutorial assumes you already have some familiarity with advanced custom fields. You know how to create field groups. You understand what a custom post type is. So on this site, I have a custom post type called listings. I have a number of property listings on the site, and the property listings have data like a price, an address, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, um, and a gallery of images. We want to add a field here called rooms, and we want to be able to add a variable number of rooms to each listing. A room could be the bedroom, the living room, the bathroom, the second bedroom, a closet, and we want to be able to add you know, as many rooms as we want to a listing. We're going to use the advanced custom fields repeater field to do that, and then we're going to design a template and breakdance visually to design the uh, front end for that repeater field. Okay, let's do it. So first, we're going to add the rooms repeater field to our listings field group. To do that, we're going to go to advanced custom fields. We're going to go to field groups. We're going to go to the listings field group, and we are going to add a new field to this group. So we'll click add field, and I'm going to choose for field type repeater. Where is repeater? Under layout, repeater. And we're going to call this rooms. The field name will be rooms. And inside this rooms repeater field, we want each room to have a name and an image. So let's go ahead and create a field called name. This is going to be a text field. The label will be name. And then let's add another field. This is going to be the image of the room. So we're going to choose image as a field type. The label will just be image. And there we go. Now each room is going to have a name and an image. Here's our rooms repeater. Inside of it, we have the name and the image subfield. Okay, let's save our changes. And now let's go ahead and add some rooms to one of our listings. Let's go to listings. Let's go to this first listing here. And here's our rooms field. We have name and image. Let's add a row. And I'll just call this uh, master bedroom. Let's choose add image. And let's choose an image. Now let's go ahead and add another room. I'll call this guest bedroom. Let's add an image. And let's add another room. I'll call this living room. Let's add an image. And let's add another called kitchen. And I'll stop at kitchen because we could obviously be doing this all day. Do I have a picture of a kitchen? Where is a nice kitchen? There we go. Nice kitchen. Okay, here we go. We have our rooms. We've added four rooms to our listing. Let's go ahead and save our listing. Now let's go into the listing template in Breakdance and create a design that's going to be used to display our repeater. So we're going to go to Breakdance, Templates, and we're going to go to our listing template. Let's edit this in Breakdance. And we want to display a list of rooms uh, below all the other content. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on the front end right now, just so we can see. And we have our image gallery, our property data, and we want to put rooms down here. So let's go back to that template and breakdance, and let's add another section. And in here, I'm going to add in a heading. We'll call this rooms. And then I'm going to have a repeater field that displays the rooms. So what do we want? We want a repeater field element. So we search repeater. Here's repeater field. Let's add it to the page. And we now get to choose a global block that's going to be repeated for each item in the repeater field. Uh, let's go back to this listing and take a look at the repeater field. We have four rooms. So whatever global block we choose here is going to be displayed four times. Then we can choose the repeater field that's going to be used to source the data. The repeater field is going to be rooms. We only have one on the site. If you had more, they'd all show up here. And we need to choose a global block. Well, I need to create that global block first. So let's go ahead and save this. And then let's go back to uh, WordPress. And let's go to Breakdance Global Blocks. And I will create my rooms repeater global block. I'll just call this rooms repeater part. Let's add global block. And let's edit this in Breakdance. And to preview the repeater data, 
we want to make sure we are previewing something that has that repeater field with some rooms in it. In this case, that's going to be the 4100 Deer Hill listing. So let's go ahead and under preview, let's just search for 4100 Deer Hill and we'll preview that. If we didn't do that, we wouldn't see anything when we actually created our design. Okay, now for each room, we want uh, two column layout. So let's add columns, two columns. In the left column, we're going to have the name of the room. So we'll add a heading. Let's make this an H3. And for the text, I want this to be dynamically set from the repeater field. So I'm going to go over to text, click the database icon, and I'm going to find that room's repeater field, and I will choose name. And Breakdance always automatically previews the first listing in the repeater. The first item in the repeater, I should say. So here's the room's repeater. First item is master bedroom. Okay, let's go ahead and to this other column. Let's add in an image. And we're going to click the database icon to set the image dynamically as well. And under the room's repeater field, we're going to choose image. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and go to the column. Let's make this a bit wider. It's going to look much better. And let's save this global block. Okay, now we can use this global block with the repeater field element to display each room in a list. So let's go back to our listing template. Let's go to that repeater field. And for global block, let's choose the room's repeater part. And voila, there we go. Each room repeated beautifully. Let's save that, and then let's take a look on the front end. And here we go. Let's scroll down to the repeater. And here we go. One item for each item in the repeater. We see all of our rooms displayed in a beautiful list. That is the basics of using advanced custom fields repeater fields with Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.